today I'm in the Otley area of Leeds and I'm here to try the best fish and chips in Yorkshire. Well at least that's how it's described on the website of the place that I'm visiting. The place is called Maypole Fisheries and it's supposed to have some great fish and chips. So let's go get some of their food and try it out. So I'm now back with the food and I have to say this smells delicious and it looks amazing too when they were serving it up. Let me tell you exactly what I got because I've got a few extra things as well. So I got fish and chips at £7.50. I got a battered sausage at £1.50, I got a fish cake at £2.20 and I got a mushy peas and curry sauce for 90p each and all that came to £13 which I think is a great bargain. Now let's get tasting. I've brought my own knife and fork and I think I'm going to start with the battered sausage so let's have a look at it. And here it is, look at the size of this. This is a huge battered sausage and the batter on the outside looks really crispy as well. I can't wait to taste it. Right, let's go in for a bite of it. Mm. Mm. So that is a really delicious battered sausage right there. Really tasty. The batter is so crunchy on the outside and on the inside it's really juicy and meaty as well. Really tasty. Mm. Okay, I think it's time to try it with the sauces. So let's start off with the mushy peas. So it's quite light in colour and it's really thick, just the way I like it. Now this looks like a good mushy peas. Let's go for a taste of it. Here it goes. Mmm. Really nice thick texture. A great mushy peas flavour as well. A great consistency. Let's dip the battered sausage into it. Okay, here it goes. Got a lot of mushy peas on that bite. Let's go in for this. Mmm. Mmm. That goes together really well. You've got the meaty, crispy battered sausage with the mushy peas that's thick and almost creamy as well. And it mixes together really well. Now let's try it with the curry sauce. Now I have to say this curry sauce looks like a great one too. It's really thick, exactly how I like it, and it smells delicious as well. Let's go for a taste of it. Here it goes. So it's quite mild in flavour, but there's definitely a kick to it. I can feel it right now. Now let's dip in the battered sausage. This looks amazing. Here it goes. Mm. Mm. So that is such a delicious flavour combination right there. The curry sauce with the spiciness of it, the kick, the curry flavour and the crunchy batter with the meaty sausage inside. It's the perfect combination. So next up I have something pretty special. I mean when I bought this fish cake I was actually surprised at what it looked like and how big it actually was. Let me show you exactly what this looks like. Have a look at the size of this fish cake. I mean this is, it's like a brick. It's absolutely massive and it's so heavy as well. I think this is the biggest fish cake I've ever seen in my life. Look at it. I can't wait to taste this and see what it's like. But I don't even know where to start. I don't know if I can fit this in my mouth. It's so big. I mean, this is huge. It's like, it looks like a big piece of KFC chicken. I mean, this is literally the size of my whole face. Have a look at this. It's massive. Right, let's just go in for a big bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. This feels like I'm eating a massive burger. Let's go for another bite. Mm. So with this type of fish cake, it looks like you've got a potato scallop on the top, potato scallop on the bottom, and then a layer of fish in the middle. But with this one, it's times 10. And then you've got the really crispy thick batter on the outside. This is really delicious. Normally I would break off a piece to dip it in the sauces, but with this one I think I'm just going to have to pour the sauces directly onto the fish cake. Let's start off with the mushy peas. Okay, so I've got a bit of the mushy peas right here. I'm going to pour it directly onto the fish cake. Here it goes. And let's go in for a bite of this. 
Mm. You get a great combination there of the mushy peas flavor with the potato. And the potato here is so soft on the inside. It's kind of like mashed potato. I mean, this is almost like having a meal on its own because when you finish this, you're not gonna have room for anything else. So I think I'm gonna have to take a couple of our bites and then move on to the fish and chips. Right, so let's pour on some curry sauce. That looks delicious. Okay, and here goes the bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, yeah, it definitely goes better with the curry sauce. Amazing. I mean, this is literally like eating a whole potato with fish inside. It's like a potato sandwich, basically. I think this is the best fish cake I've ever had. If you come here, you definitely need to get one of these. This is amazing. And the fish inside is really soft and succulent as well. You can tell it's fresh. I've had some of the fish cakes at other places and the fish has been a little bit tough and not the softest and most moist inside, but this definitely is. It's basically like the fish that you would get in a fish and chips. Right, I'm gonna to have to put that down and move on to the fish and chips before I get too full up eating that. So let's move on to the fish and chips. So this is a great looking fish and chips. The fish looks really crispy and crunchy on the outside. The batter is a really nice golden brown color. The chips look great and fried to perfection as well. I can't wait to dig into this. Right, let's start off with a chip first and these look like they've been fried really well. Here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. So with these chips, there's a really nice crunch on the outside. It's really crispy actually. And then when you bite to the middle, it's really soft as well. Almost like the fish cake. Now let's try it with the sauces. I'm gonna go for the mushy peas first. Here it goes. This looks amazing. Mmm. I really like the texture combination there of the soft mushy peas and the crisp outside of the chip and soft potato on the inside. Delicious. Now let's try it with a curry sauce. Here it goes. Let's go for a bite of this. Mmm. So that is really delicious and tasty there. The curry flavor along with the spice and the chips that are soft and crunchy on the outside. Amazing combination, really delicious. Right, and I think it's time to try the fish and I cannot wait for this because it looks so tasty. So the batter I think is the perfect color. So at some places you can see the difference in the types of batter and how thick and thin it is that they use because here it's nice and golden and crispy. And at some places, the batter is pretty much the same color as the chips. So I think it looks better when the batter of the fish is a little bit darker like it is here. So let's go for a taste of it. I've just broken off a really big piece here. So let's go for a bite of it. Mm. Mm. Really delicious fish here. Mm. So the fish here is great. The batter on the outside is so crispy and crunchy and full of flavor. So I can tell that they're frying it in beef dripping. The fish on the inside, really succulent and soft and they're using haddock here. And you can really taste the haddock flavor as well. I've got to try the fish with some mushy peas. So here it goes. Let's put the mushy peas on top and then let's go for a bite of this. Mm. The mushy peas goes really well with the fish here really nice and delicious now let's try it with the curry sauce and i think i'm just gonna have to dip the whole thing in here it goes got loads of curry sauce on there let's go for a big bite of this mm. the curry sauce really complements the fish and batter here really delicious so i've absolutely devoured that fish and chips so what are my final thoughts on maypole fisheries here in otley well, I would say it's a definite must visit place if you're here. All of the food was great. Let's start off with the battered sausage. So it's really crispy on the outside, really nice tasting batter, and the sausage on the inside, really meaty as well. And you can get small or large, so you can choose different sizes. The fish cake, I think I'm just gonna have to come out and say it. I think it's the best fish cake I've ever had. Not just because the size of it, 
but because of the taste and the quality of the ingredients inside. The batter on the outside was so crispy and delicious and crunchy. The potato was really soft on the inside as well, almost like mashed potato. And then the fish on the inside, you can tell that was really fresh because it was really succulent and soft. Pretty much exactly like the fish inside the fish and chips which has not always been the case with the fish cakes that I've tried previously. So this is definitely the best one. If you don't fancy the full fish and chips, get the fish cake instead. It's just as good. And then the fish and chips, what can I say about that? Really, really good. The batter on the fish again was so crispy. The fish on the inside was really soft and juicy and succulent and you can tell that's really fresh here. And the haddock flavor really comes through. The chips had a great crisp on the outside, so when you bit into it, you could feel that. And then the soft potato on the inside was amazing as well. The two sauces, the mushy peas, really great thick texture and really good mushy peas flavor as well. The curry sauce had a bit of a kick, a mild curry flavor. In fact, I think it could have done with a little bit more of a curry flavor in there, but still delicious nevertheless. So all in all, a place that you should definitely come and visit if you're nearby. It's well worth it. Okay, so if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below. Click on subscribe to come along for the next journey. And I'll see you in the next video.